Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making a golden iced latte. This drink can be served hot or cold. So I'll be using one and a half teaspoons of ground turmeric. You can use the ratio that you like and if you have fresh that works better. I'm also going to be using one small cinnamon stick that I've broken in half. Five to six cardamom pods. You could use more if you want to intensify any of these flavors, by the way. I'll also be using allspice berries. Here I have a four inch piece of orange peel that I removed most of the pith. And I'll be using around a two inch piece of ginger. Now the ratios of these ingredients are up to you. If you want to really have a strong flavor to any of these, then you can change up the ratios. Okay, so I have a small pan that I've been preheating over a medium heat or so, and I'm just going to add my cardamom, my allspice berries, and my ground cinnamon. I'm going to toast these until I see some a little bit of like toasting and color on some of these. Okay, so here I have a pot with three cups of water. And essentially what I'm going to do is make a tea first. So I'm going to add my toasted cinnamon, cardamom, and allspice berries into the water. And I'm also going to add my ginger right here. And as you can see, I peeled the skin. I just took a spoon and scraped away the skin and I gave it a mash with, you know, my knife. Right into the pot, the ginger, it smells good already. Turmeric, the turmeric powder, the ground turmeric. And like I said, a two inch piece of, of fresh works. And my orange peel, right into the pot. Okay, so once your tea mixture starts boiling and simmering away like this, that's when you start counting the 10 minute, you know, simmer time. It's already been around mm, eight minutes of, um, you know, rapidly, rapid simmer here. So I'm going to sweeten it with a little bit of stevia sweetener. You could use sugar if you want it sweet or you just skip the sugar and leave as is. I'm going to add two little packets to this. This is actually a stevia monk fruit sweetener. Be sure to use maybe a metal <laughs> spoon. I mean I actually don't mind if this is colored with the turmeric but um, just fair warning. You know, it'll, it will definitely stain your wooden spoon. So I'm going to give this a mix, mix in the sugar, and this is pretty much where I want it to be. And you can actually do this, do a big pot ahead of time, and you can just save it in some glass jars in your refrigerator so you have it when you need it. Now, at this point, you could add the coconut milk. I'm going to be adding a 13 and a half fluid ounce can of coconut milk. I'm going to shut this off, just let it hang out. And once it cools off a bit, I'm going to move it back there. Once it cools off a bit, I will add the coconut milk. I actually want this to be at least room temperature before I add the ice because I'm having it iced today. But I also drink this warm, so you could add the coconut milk as it simmers and steeps as well. Before I um, strain this out, I wanted to say you could also add uh, a bag of black tea in this and let it steep and make you something similar to chai. It'll have that same chai situation going on. Uh, but black tea, you know, will give you a little pep in your step <laughs> if you want that. But I'm just gonna stick with no, no black tea today and I'm going to strain this out. And I really, like I said, I want it iced today, so I want it to at least come to room temperature Okay, so this is mixed in. It's still hot. <laughs> um, so if you wanted to serve this as a hot drink, go for it. So while it's still cooling off, I'm going to garnish this with a combination of cinnamon and ground turmeric. And while it's sitting there, I'm going to also add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just really playing around with the flavors of this. 
And you don't have to add the vanilla extract because it's wonderful as is. I'm going to give that a mix. And there we have it. Once this cools off, I'll show you how I set this up. Okay, so I'm not going to use all of this, so I'm going to store this in glass jars in my refrigerator for later use. to kind of make it a little extra, I'm going to add some whipped coconut, um, coconut whipped topping. So here you have an iced golden latte. I guess it's very versatile as far as flavors, but what gives it that golden color is the turmeric, whether you're using fresh or ground, but it's so good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.